As you develop a worksheet, you will need to be able to edit that worksheet. This chapter is devoted to editing techniques. The first thing that you will need to know is how to select cells, cell ranges, rows, and columns in a worksheet. There are several techniques for selecting worksheet content. Let me show a few of these techniques. First of all, you need to know how to select an individual cell. And you do that simply by clicking on the cell. The first step to performing an edit is to indicate to Excel what data needs to be edited. And you do that by selecting. So here I am selecting individual cells. If I wanted to choose a range of cells, I would click and drag across the range of cells that I would like to select. Notice that they are all now highlighted. I can also choose an entire column by coming up here to my column headers. And notice that when I position my mouse on a column header, it becomes this down arrow tool. When I click, this will select the entire column on the worksheet. And to prove that, notice I'm going to hold down my shift key on my keyboard and then drag the vertical scroll bar all the way down to the very bottom of the worksheet. And notice I'm at row 1,048,000. 576. That is the very last row of a worksheet. I'll go ahead and pull back up here to the top of my worksheet. And now notice if I want to choose an entire row, I can do that as well, just like columns, by positioning my mouse on the row header where I get a little right arrow tool. And when I click, this will choose the entire row throughout the worksheet. Notice again, I hold down my shift key and drag the horizontal scroll bar all the way to the very end of the worksheet column XFD which is the last column in a worksheet. Let me go ahead and come back here to my worksheet. So you can choose individual cells, columns, and rows quite simply. Now if you wanted to choose multiple columns or rows you would do that just like you did selecting a cell range. You click and drag across the columns that you would like to select choosing all of those columns. The same applies for rows. Again, if I click on the row header and drag down across the rows I would like to select, I will choose all of those rows. Now, there are other times when you are working in your worksheet that you will want to choose non-adjacent cells, rows, or columns. You can do that as well. Notice that if I click and choose a cell and then hold down my control key, I can click and choose another range of cells or individual cells as well as entire columns by holding down the control key. I have my control key still down and I'll choose an entire row. And you can see I am choosing non-adjacent cells, rows, and columns. And this is a useful technique as you begin to work and develop your worksheets. There is one other selection technique that I would like to show and that is how to choose the entire worksheet. There is a little button right up here in the upper left hand corner of your worksheet. And if you position your mouse on this and click once, you will choose the entire worksheet. So these are just a few selection techniques for selecting your data within a worksheet. Take a moment and practice these techniques. If you would like to practice on the file that you see on my screen, please open class under slash exp in your class files folder. We'll continue on with the next movie and learning more about how to edit your worksheet.